so hi everyone today we'll try to understand how to create a custom open ai gym environment and we'll try to understand the code for it using a maze game so basically in my previous videos and blogs i have already explained uh, like i have already trained a few open ai gym environments using some reinforcement learning algorithms now eventually in real world you won't be using the predefined environment present in open ai gym so you would be trying to register a new environment and then train your environment accordingly using some algorithm so today we'll try to understand how you can register an environment how you can create a custom environment in open gym so basically before moving on to that why you should create an environment in open gym so because like in a few of my videos i haven't used any open gym framework and still i was able to create an environment for the gaming that i wish to do so by using uh, by using open ai gym framework for creating an environment you will have a few benefits one is that you will get a standardized interface so open ai gym provides you with a baseline framework to create your environment so that can help you or like that can give you standardization for all the environments you, that you create and it becomes easy for you to manage everything reproducibility and sharing so eventually once you are registering in open ai gym eventually you can also post it to the public repo for others to use and most some and most of the open uh, open source reinforcement libraries like table based lines rl uh, lib tf agents etc that provides you with a predefined uh, state of the art reinforcement learning algorithms uh, can be easily integrated with open ai gym framework so eventually you don't need to code everything from scratch if you are using the open ai gym framework so now as we are very much clear with why what is are the advantage of creating an environment in open ai gym let's get started so first of all i will tell you which game i am going to create so till you try to register a maze a maze game with the name maze game hyphen v0 so in this game as you can see that we have uh, some black square it is a grid game basically where the hero starts from the uh, green panel and he wish to go to the red panel eventually the blue uh, square is defined by the agent movement so he might be moving to this uh, section he might be moving to this section and these black ones are obstacles where he can't move so basically from the green portion to the red portion he need to find out an optimal way to reach to the home so in this particular environment what we would be doing is that the uh, talking about the reward so the reward system is quite easy that uh, we would be giving a reward of 1 when the agent reaches the end point else the reward would be zero action space will include four actions up down right and left so i think it's pretty easy to understand and in the end we will be using a pi game to render this environment so everything we will be doing in the open ai framework so to create any open ai gym framework uh, open ai gym environment custom environment we need to override these four functions one is the constructor for the particular class uh, underscore underscore in it so this function basically initializes the environment with default value so you would be refining your baseline numbers where the starting position of the agent the the position of the home position of a starting point obstacle position etc so it will giving you all the default settings in this reset function would help you to reset the environment to default settings a step function is crucial so in this particular function what we what logic we would be applying is that once an agent takes some x step how should the environment change so i will be showing you the whole code so don't worry third would be rendering so once the step is taken once the action is taken how to render it into pi game or even in console so depending upon your choice so let's get started uh, without talking much first of all we will be importing a few libraries so we will be importing gym from gym importing space numpy is for our purpose and pi game so this is the whole class that we are defining so as you can see that we are passing gym.n as a parameter to this particular class as you can see that and so basically maze game n is inheriting gym.n understand this and then we are initializing this particular function the constructor so you can see that self dot maze equals to npra dot maze so maze is a particular parameter that we would be passing out so don't worry for that as you can see here so while initializing i would be passing out a 2d npra which will consist of position for the uh, starting position for the agent the home the starting point and the obstacles starting position goal position current position number of rows number of columns as you can see that in the constructor the init function we are providing with all the base uh, default values that are required the next function is the reset so in the reset function for this particular game what we will be doing is that as i have told you the agent would be moving from the green portion to the red portion so we would we just need to reset his position else anything in the environment is not changing by taking an action so we will be resetting the position to the start position and the environment gets reset 
step function uh, as you can see that once the action is zero we will be changing the position of the agent uh, depending upon that i'm not jumping into the logic key how we are implementing this just understand ki as you can see this if else statements depending upon the action we are changing the location of the agent number one second after we have changed we have got the new position of the agent we are checking for the validity of the uh, action of the agent so this is respective to the game that we are drawing this particular function self dot is valid position is not a mandatory function it is because of the game we are creating we need this function so we are defining it in the same class maze game n so just remember that we need to define a class maze game n because we will be importing finally this class into some other script now if the position is valid then we will be doing the current position of the agent equals to new position this is the reward function that we have defined so as i have showed you already if if the current position is equal to the goal position reward is 1 else reward is 0 very easy now is valid position this function is basically checking the validity of the action so i am not jumping into the logic as you can see the comments you would be able to understand third is rendering so rendering i am doing using pi game you can do it uh, you can simply print the whole maze uh, on your console also that is also fine so in this particular case what we are doing is that we are filling the pi game screen dot fill uh, with a white color and eventually we are looping over the whole maze 2d array i will be showing you what 2d array we are passing and one by one depending upon the value of the 2d array we are assigning colors so as you can see the hash stands for obstacle so if a hash is encountered in the 2d array eventually we will be filling the particular cell with black color similarly for starting position we are filling the color with green color goal position we are filling it red color now as you can see that we have used all the four functions we have overridden all these four functions that i mentioned so we in any game that we wish to register with open ai gym we need to have these four functions in it a reset step and render is valid position is something that we are using for the game for a respective game not necessary it has to be with every one now save the above class in a python script say maze game dot py so the above class that we have created where we have inherited gym dot n also uh, that particular maze game n we are now saving that into a py uh, python file now in a new script we are importing this particular class to register this environment so you can see that from maze game import maze game n so from maze game file we are importing this particular function maze game n right and then gym dot register so you can see that we are giving this game a particular id maze game hyphen v0 entry point is maze game colon maze game n maze game is a file name if you remember and maze game n is a class name and uh arguments are passing as maze because maze as i told you 2d array would be passing out so now this is the 2d array that we would be passing this is the maze uh, whole configuration the initial configuration that we are making we will call in gym dot make maze game hyphen v0 maze equals to maze so as you remember we are passing this particular parameter to the constructor of the class as i can show you here self comma maze so this maze 2d array we are passing while we are making the environment using gym so this is very similar to cart pool v1 so if you are following my previous vlogs or blogs you can remember that it is the same if we create any pre existing version also so gym dot make we mention the id of the game and then eventually the environment gets created similarly we have now imported this particular game environment from a particular python file and we are making this particular game after registering it now rest of the logic remains the same as i have showed in my previous vlog where we can once the game environment gets loaded you can use this whole game environment to run your simulations uh using observation equals to n dot reset we have done n dot render and then eventually we have set up a loop and then we are taking uh we are selecting some random action for now random action selected you can now uh, replace this with the policy and eventually we'll pass this action to the step function and we'll getting all these three as a uh, as a out as a return from that particular step function and then depending upon the policy that you are following you can train this environment now this is the whole environment that we trained so i am running this for a random simulation here you can see that how the agent is moving for by taking random action so in this way you can register your game into open ai gym so this is how you can create a custom environment in open ai gym